Hi, my name's Norm with Lincoln Electric. Uh, we're here today with David Gailey of Fabtech 2015. He's a specialty project manager for the Harris Products Group, uh, Lincoln Electric. Uh, David, welcome. Let's talk a little bit about the booth here today. Well, thanks, Norm. Uh, today, what you're looking at behind me is an oxygen and fuel gas cutting demonstration. So we have an oxy fuel cutting torch, and we're cutting three inch steel, and we're cutting half inch steel. Now, the unique part about this process is that Normally, oxy-fuel cutting requires high pressures of acetylene or propane in the neighborhoods of 5 PSI and 10 PSI. What we're doing now is a low-cost cutting demonstration. So we're actually hooked up to natural gas on the house line coming in at less than 1 PSI. So we're able to cut three inches of steel at less than 1 PSI natural gas plus our cylinders of oxygen. Natural gas is a low-cost cutting fuel and so that's really the point of this whole demonstration here, how Harris products can add value to our customers because we can reduce their costs and they don't have to buy expensive um, cylinders of acetylene and propane, hook up to natural gas, and we can cut any ferrous metal that, uh, that our torches are rated for. So in what situations would you, have, would you uh, be using oxyfuel to cut metals like we're, uh, like we're seeing behind us? Well, on the three inch piece, it's, it's a good question. Typically when you're cutting a thickness of three inches or more, you're looking at maybe a scrapping process. Uh, normally construction and fabrication are dealing with two inches of metal or less. Of course, you, you would cut those with the same torch but different tip sizes. We just wanted to demonstrate the capacity of uh, low pressure natural gas alternate fuels with our torches and cutting something thicker. We could cut six inches if we wanted to, uh, or we could cut a quarter of an inch. You know, the, the range of the torch is really uh, not limited by the natural gas that we're pulling in. So it's quite a unique process. And the offering itself, is it custom to the customer? Uh, these are commercially available items. We just need to know what fuel gases the customer has available, and then we'll supply the, the torch and the tips designed specifically for that fuel gas. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. These are designed for natural gas. It utilizes an injector style mixing so that it mixes the oxygen and fuel in the proper ratio to give you a perfect flame at the end of the tip so that you're able to cut. Fantastic, well why don't we walk over to the wall and take a look at some of the products we got here. Sure. All right, cool. All right, David, so let's talk a little bit about what we got going on here. Well, this is our Christmas tree of products. So we have everything from gas regulation equipment to torch products, and um, these torch products vary by fuel gas and length and tip styles, uh, and we offer a full gamut of torch products for all of our customers. No matter what tip style they're using, no matter what fuel gas they're using, we offer it all. So right here we just kind of have a smorgasbord. We got large heavy duty industrial regulators. We have shielding gas flow meters for welding processes. All types of cutting torches if you're cutting uh, oxy fuel cutting steel. We have small inert gas regulators and very small compact inexpensive welding regulators as well. In today's fabrication, we're very, very concerned with safety. Can you talk a little bit about the safety features that are involved in these products? Absolutely. Every one of the products that we manufacture is um, uh, tested by the CGA standards. We self-certify ourselves to those safety standards that are written at the national level. And so what we can do is we can certify all our regulators to CGA E4, we can certify all of our torches to CGA E5, and they'll also meet uh, any ANSI standards or NFPA standards that may apply to these products as well.